Fayetteville police are calling out a man they say made up a story about police brutality. It started after the man posted to Facebook yesterday saying he was pulled over for no reason. Then he says an officer slams him to the ground and puts his knee into his neck. Kayla Strayer is getting answers as to what exactly happened. And Kayla, police are saying this story is a lie and they have the video to prove it. That's right. Some pretty serious allegations, but Fayetteville Police Chief Gina Hawkins is saying that they've proven them to be false. She says they started investigating and took his claims very seriously. They proved it to be false, she says, by using surveillance video like what you're looking at, the one right across from the police station. The public post was made by Brandon McCormick. It's since been deleted after getting more than 1,300 shares since Wednesday. He posted that he was pulled over Tuesday morning on his way to work. He says police immediately told him to get out of the car without asking for his name or ID. In that post, McCormick says, quote, as I proceed to step out, he grabs me, slams me face down into the pavement, puts his knee into the back of my neck, and handcuffs me. He says the officers, including a canine, searched his car. They found nothing, then told him he was free to go. He then goes on to say he went to the station to file a complaint yesterday. He said he was here for 40 minutes talking with an investigator, but surveillance video shows that he walked around the police station and never Never actually went in. No complaint was filed. What's more, they say that police say his tags were never ran on Tuesday, meaning he was never actually pulled over. McCormick insists he was a victim and that it's his word against theirs. Here's more from the chief. The statements that he made in his post did not occur based off of video and facts and his statement and his timeline. So because because of it going viral. It causes the community to believe his side of the statement of his facts. I want to regain the trust that we did not pull away. We did have done nothing that he posts. Yeah, so I have been trying to get in touch with that man, Brandon McCormick, throughout the day. His work telling me he has no comment. Someone that he knows telling me he has no comment about this. Again, that post has since been deleted. Coming up at 5.30, we're going to hear more from police, including why they say no charges will be filed in this case, even though they say it's a blatantly false Facebook post that was made. Reporting live in Fayetteville, Kayla Strayer, CBS 17 News.